Hi, this is Nick from PrimeLoops.com. I want to tell you a little bit about follow actions today and what they can do for you. Follow actions, quite simply, are a way to tell clips to automatically perform some action after a certain amount of time without you having to manually carry out that action yourself. Follow actions can be found inside of the clip view. Just double click on the clip and click on the little L down in the lower left corner. That'll bring up your launch settings. Down here at the bottom of the launch settings, you'll find follow actions. Now, as I said, this is a great way to make certain actions automatically happen after a certain amount of time of Eclipse playback. So follow actions have three different sets of parameters to do that. The first row here determines how long of Eclipse playback needs to pass before the follow action occurs. By default, it's set to one bar of playback, but you can set it to any amount of playback that you want. The second row of parameters presents you with two different options for follow actions. That is, you can define two separate follow actions for each clip. Now we need a way to determine when one of these follow actions will happen rather than the other. And that brings me to the third and final row of parameters down here. These are the chances that each follow action will happen. For instance, the default settings are that follow action B will never occur. It's set at zero. And follow action A is set at one. This ratio means that follow action A will always occur and follow action B will never occur. If I set follow action B up to 10, follow action B is now 10 times more likely than follow action A to occur. In this way you can set up almost a controlled randomness in terms of what will happen after the clip plays back for this amount of time up here. Now you have a few different options for what follow action will exactly occur. You won't be able to see all of them in this video because some of them will be cropped off the screen. The most important ones for me are previous and next. For simplicity, I'm going to set follow action B to zero so that there's only one follow action per clip. Now coming up here, we have three different drum loops. Now I want these three drum loops to cycle through one another without my having to trigger them individually. And that's a simple thing to do with follow actions. I'll double click on the first clip here set the follow action to play the next clip in the track and then I'll do the same for the second clip. On the last clip I won't set the follow action to next because there's no other clip underneath of this last clip to be triggered. So instead I'll set the follow action to play the first clip on the track. In this way we have the clip 1 triggering clip 2, clip 2 triggering clip 3, and then clip 3 going back to trigger clip 1. Let's see if it works. And there you have it, a very simple way to automate clip playback in the session view. I'll see you next time for more audio production tips and tricks. Stay creative!